guess it's recording. Yeah, here's the Moss Shack renovation project. Here's the supervisor. Emily? Say hi to the camera. Here's some moss. She's right by some moss. Yeah. Anyway, this is uh, an old shack. If you look in there, you see a great big boiler tank. That was what this building was for originally. I guess it So I have any on this shack, by the way, and uh, I have had to block this door. It was really not very well sealed. I'm going to be putting glass in, so wherever I break holes in the uh, exterior, I will be putting windows. I need light. Got more done yesterday because it's freezing now. It's cold, cold. Got the shade cover on the moss. Can't really see it. You kind of can, but not really. You just got to look down there see it. The steps are covered. Can't really see much. Um, which I'm hoping he will. If he leaves, I will um, get out some major tools and take down that big column of aluminum and stuff. Because that would be useful. It's just a sheer stretchy cloth. I can actually see the moss in person, but it just keeps the uh, birds off. And uh, the cats tend to. Anyway, this is what happens when people don't care about you. They just don't help you. You got to do everything by yourself. Ladies, if you're out there and you're in a relationship where every time you ask for something, they just act like you're annoying them, just get out. Make your plan, make your move, and get out. That's how it works. All right. Emmy's over on the other side. Supervisor, Emily, over the moss. She's on the clock. It's windy. She probably smells some uh, coyotes or something. And I got some dirt. Got some rocks repositioned. You see, it looks good. Still have one. Op I've got one open door or one open wall. But anyway, I'm clearing furniture carts of the. Moss that just was laid there. Warm. Those are, that's a cedar block. I don't think moss is going to grow in it. Just position some rocks and set some lichen and moss out. It's going to need to be covered before nightfall. Get the leaves and the birds and the cats off. A good stiff wind will blow some of this stuff away because I haven't watered it yet. I took the fiberglass off of this side. It was awful. Anyway, anyway. here's some tree lichen. Or it's really just bark, but it had like an on it. So. And this whole side's been kind of scraped away. I don't have much moss over here here yet, but I will. Busy, busy, busy. So it's all open here. You see how much more cheery it is with a bunch of light. And that's the vinyl I've been using on the floor. I went ahead and recycled an old filter too. It's well, not an old one. It's a dust and pollen shield filter right there. Turns out it's fiberglass. So what I did is lay that down. You see that white. And it's just sort of a folded accordion filter, but I had no use for it. It was in some kind of auction I got. So I'm recycling it as a floor cover to prevent bugs and stuff. So it's under this vinyl, and it'll go all the way under that vinyl. You approve? Arf! She's sitting on the fabric that's going to go on the inside to uh, give it that quilt-like appearance. I'll be putting it in between all of the beams 
and then put some some kind of mild insulation in between there because this could be a really good workshop or a playroom, fort, sewing room. Well, sewing room. I'm not sure. It's a moss shack. I'd make a I'd make a bar out of it, but. I, this place I wouldn't have any friends so then nobody would come over so I guess I wouldn't do that. 